Hello, good morning, Africa. Good morning, South Sudan. Welcome to African Morning Breakfast Show, coming to you live right here from our studio in South Sudan, capital Juba. My name is Majur Cholkur, and today is a brand new day. Thank you so much for following SSBC wherever you're following us in your house, in the offices, online. And if you're following us online, remember to like and follow our Facebook page, which is SSBC TV, and also the YouTube channel, SSBC Official. This is African Money Breakfast Show, where we bring to you issues that matters to you. And in this edition of African Money Breakfast Show, we are going to talk more about the relations between business people in the Republic of South Sudan and authorities. And whoever is going to help us right here in this discussion is the right person in the right place, the chairperson of uh, Chamber of Commerce, Industry and Agriculture of Central Equatorial State, Mr. Robert Pitea Francis. Allow me to say it, Robert, I'm profoundly honored and exceedingly humbled to have this great opportunity to host you for the first time in African Morning Breakfast Show, and I think it's the second time hosting you on SIBC. Good morning and welcome to African Morning Breakfast Show. Uh, thank you. Thank you to the listeners, uh, SSB listeners. So, um, <coughs> first, I want to another Naguli no Nasali la Juana or Juana fi Hortum or Le Salamatum, Shenegi in a Shenegi fi Junub the Salama, or Nasali le Hakuma with a Sudan or Le Shab le Le Juana or Juana fi Sudan, and Shenin Robin a Doom Salam or a situation area for normal. One of the crew with SSTV uh, welcoming me here. I'm, I'm glad to be here. Thank you. Thank you so much, Robert Vitea, for making your time to come to African Money Breakfast Show. We're going to talk more about uh, your role as the chairperson and what the chairpa, uh, what uh, Chamber of Commerce Industry and agriculture is doing with business people. And of recent, there has been incidences happening in some market in Juba in, uh, in which there were, uh, were some fire outbreak in Budele and also in Custom. And dear viewer, we'll find out what the authorities are doing in, as part of the relationship with the business people. There has been a uh, numerous outbreak of fire in the market in Juba, especially on the 15th of this month and also yesterday, but one. 15 of this month was the fire outbreak in Gudela One's market, whereby some chops, uh, 25 chops got burned, and uh, the Chamber of Commerce and other authorities that are lunch with the business people step in and give them their support. And also yesterday, but one, there were also outbreak in the custom market in Juba right here. Let's go and have a break and find out what the business people's in Gudele want were saying after the fire outbreak within uh, destroy their chops in the market. We'll be right back to you shortly. I'm very happy for being on uh, national TV. Um, by, I'm, I'm, I'm by names of Karele Ashraf. I'm a businessman since 2014. I'm working in this market, Kudele One market. Uh, I've been okay since. But uh, unfortunately, on last Saturday, we were banned. I had two shops, I had one store, food item, was burned down. I had a shop also, a retailer shop, which was like a 14 point something million SSP was burned down. And uh, even the, the, the store had food almost for like 900 point something million. All, all were burned down. Automatically, the cause of the fire was uh, there is a lady also who had been working here, hotel. The place of the lady is that one. So the fire started from her, her place and she left beans on fire. Two cups of beans. Then uh, she left them on fire. I try also, I myself, I try to, to interv interview her. But why, why? He said that he, she has been leaving the fire for one year. On the fire here, burning, uh, cooking at night. Then in the morning, she got beans already and cooked for the rice for the breakfast. So 
the lady left as he as usual she left beans from there the water was finished in her saucepan so become fire fire gutted her house from her house he supplied the fire in 225 shops here no the issue is that eh, this issue of burning by the DC food sellers it is common because that one was number eight since this, this market has been burning since but the only issue is carelessness of these people who are cooking these people for hotel who are cooking they act carelessly because last year that side was burnt the same issue beans for chapati was left on the fire so this lady was not uh, was not intentionally but carelessness what she did she saw it is perfect but from there it brought many problems as you have seen but all in all the lady was not a uh, attempt to do so but because of carelessness she they, she caused a lot of problem harik de binya de ga kan kutu janjaru finara na mabiyarfo lakin zamana ana wazol wasul fi suka na jaman wasulu ana ligo harik pitnin dukan dukan imra talata ya dukan bitai lakin harik de hu sukun u har ana der ha wil ja asakir bu gulla na bahara ko glana ta muhim lanna ana kaman sima yan harik de asir manas ketir harik de zaman gija bada ligo nas ni dakal fi suk nas jibu buda ketir ba harik ta kartum accident al fortum de kutu nas kulu jibu buda be teri gal mak wes yala buda de kulu harago buda de kulu harago mata law sala wahid bara u kaman fi muntalakat fi guru su haja ta nas u jada kakin de kulu harago jo dukan yan duka da kakin al herik de kam so shirin dukan al herik usiba al nahibu al nahibu aktar min kam so shirin al harago de chen ki dan na goji risala la hakuma ta junub sudan wala la hakuma ta wilayata sente kotoria wala la hakuma ta juba city tijar de ta juba city umo umo muhimin le gabana mea juba city kedu wayen tijar de sala be be kalam al hilo kedu wayen tijar de ma muhim u bodi dam lakin kalam al hilo wal harika nati nitija bi tahrika kam bada min dukan wahid wal dukan de kan indu indu konon bi ta janjaro al wa bi arabi janjaro kan shadda janjaro ka ka mata am sakhir kida wa zinu bi kun harik bi ta kanun da ya onati glenar gam harak dukan bi ta wazato min dukan bi ta wal wahid da intakal de 25 dukan tam harik bi ta fi nafsi yom wa sabi da yom kamisaja tam harik bi ta 25 dukan wa 25 shi wa 20 rawakib bi taqada de kan al hadas al hasal indana fi gudale one market wa bil talih na kan binashkuru al nas paya bargate ja anja sa suk lo ma kan paya bargate mungkin suk kulu kan bit harak na kan binashkuru idara bi ta paya bargate be be go bi tom lena hakikatan ba 25 do kan 20 rakuba da fi kan hasal sir gabardo lano mojud daiman fi harig al gadi hasal indana fi medina bi tajuba bad harig yasal bi asar mujrimin tawali kan fi kesir bi ta dakakin wa kan fi nas bi dakakin asal ma yasal lom harig tala buda bi tawun bara min dakakin kuma gai tala buda wa haramiya kaman gai di anina hakikatan anina gai ne gibma motina bi tana bi nisba bi ta asar lakin al tijar bi tana gadi ani shadid min al min al mubaya bi ta ta buda fi suk iya tajir bi steki be auda bi ta auda bi ta dollar auda bi ta dollar dollar murtafa shadid kullu ma tajir bi jib buda bi ta wal leila bukra bil kasir tani de on tija bi ta asari no muwatin al mustahli gadi al qata shadid wa taniyan tijar bi ta na gadi ani bil be darai bal mutadida yani yani different taxes yani boju darai be mukteli beji nas pay bragel le tajir al wahid beji nas bele dia juba beji beji public order beji nas zone fa de kulu brakim le tajir bar ma inu tajir yat fa hajada uma bu kunindo iya teriga ille zid fi suno fi buda bi taw fa ni na bi nashid idara bi ta bele dia juba inu yunzur fi muana bi ta tijar bi tana yani mo lazim ke le ayinu tijar bi tana gadi yata fi suno fi darai bal katir Texas different Texas ya ode kulu beji no bi hamle tijar fo
Welcome back, dear viewer. Thank you so much for following African Morning Breakfast Show. Those has been the voices of uh, the business person in Gudela One Market where the incident happened, the prior outbreak on the 15th of this month. And uh, apologies to what happened to the business people and sorry for what happened. And right here, we are going to talk more about the relationship between business people in the country with the authorities and helping us to understand this is Robert Peter Francis, the chairperson of Chamber of Commerce, Industry and Agriculture based in Central Equatorial State. Robert, welcome back to the show. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, now mm. let's look at uh, the situation that happened where the, the chop were banned in Gudele and also in Custom. So after this incident, what step have you taken before as, as the authority concerned with the business people? Actually, thank you. Uh, so we, this thing happened several times. Mm. Um, and normally we are aware of them because our role as Chamber of Commerce is to advocate, to protect and to promote business in order to deliver services to the citizen. Uh, the issue here, what we are normally raised to our traders in the market because some of these markets are making with the iron sheet. Mm. And we are trying to advise them, let them not cook food during the night time. Because you, when you want to do, do it in the daytime. Then when you want to shift, then you come in the morning and put it again. Mm. But the problem here is they don't listen. They put the food with the firewood and then uh, at night then they go, they don't know what's going to happen uh, or when they leave. Then. And it's, it's happened now twice or thrice in the same cases, and we're trying to advise them. And, 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 and we're trying also to advise other business people also not to put their, their, their switch or light on because sometimes, you know, uh, these are the, 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 the factors that created, uh, these are the issues that, that will bring uh, the, the, this, the, this fire outbreak. Mm -hmm. And it will damage other people who are innocent. They, they, they don't know well what more mostly what 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 they can do because we go all their maybe all their capital, all their business uh, all their business capital they put it there, or sometimes even the money that they they, they, they even keep in the, in some of the shops and it's the danger when the the fire breaks like this it will cause a lot of damage damages, and it will uh, bring other people down, because at the end of the day when you reach a level of a stage and then again you this cause again. And when you open a case also to this person who have created this problem, even this person, even he, even the, the show of one person, he cannot manage to pay the, the damages. So we are trying to advise them that let them stop cooking at night. And through our chairperson at the, at the, uh, at the level of the market, we're trying to, to raise their, con their these concerns. And some of them listen, but some of them they don't listen. And that's why we are here uh, seeing this scenario happening every day every month. But we are trying to do our level, level best to make sure things change because also we are we, we trying to, 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 to raise this issue of this iron sheet with, with, with the government so that the government also raise the issue of also iron sheet places. It's very dangerous to, 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 the, to the business people and we, we are aware of that. But you know some of these places, some of them are not demarcated. For example, some of the places like Gudele it is owned by some people, and then they, 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 they don't want it to be built in a permanent shop, or they, they don't want to give uh, go ahead for, for the person to, to, to build a concrete uh, building. Mm. And that's why we're also advising the, 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 the local authority to look into these issues so that they come to compromise and see who can build a concrete building so that they to avoid such kind. Because once it happens to the to, to place which are built concrete, it will happen in a specific area. It cannot reach to, to the neighbor and destroy other people's uh, properties. Mm. So these are the issues that we, we talk about and, and, and the authority also working on that. But we know there's some also challenges, you know, I mean, issue of renting, issues of ownership also come in. And, 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 and it created a situation whereby this person cannot even build because, because he's surviving on daily basis. You know, he's like a vendor. He's renting the place with a low, in the, with, the, with, with, with the low rate and then and, and surviving on it. And especially they are, most of them, some of them are women also who are all struggling to raise their families. 
to feed them and educate them. And that's why we are also work, 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 working on, on that issues to, 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 to support them in terms of, in terms of, 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 of advocating the government to, to, to look in institutions that can help these women. Because now what, what, what they are getting their help through this roof, roofy. And also some of the, 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 the their interest rate, the loan interest rates are very high. Like almost some are like 40 40 40 percent and the other one is 30 percent it means like like almost half of the money you're working to and so we're also advising in such scenario whereby he can go back again very fast and raise and come back again in in, in, in a very fast because if they if he get a loan again he can come up again because that's why we have we, we all more advocating so, so in this situation robert uh as chamber of commerce what do you think now can rescue the situation of this 25 chop owners whose their chops were burned down because of the fire outbreak. Mm -hmm. I remember the first speaker that we spoke to was telling us that the, it was only two cups of beans mm -hmm. that spoiled and caused all these damages. Mm -hmm. That thousands of, dollar, uh, of dollars and millions of South Sudanese pounds were lost and food item. Now for them to regain back their strength and the hope. What do you think the authorities are supposed to be doing? Since you stated that even the person who caused this fire outbreak maybe cannot even afford to pay the damages of maybe one chop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually the authority, we were also uh, talking to the authority, you know, such kind of people who are, their shops have been banned, mm -hmm. let them also be, 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 be exempted in terms of paying taxes. Because they, they, they have struggled to, to be in the market, and something happened, and this, is, this is a natural thing happened. This is natural, my, somebody caused it, and that person also, you know, he doesn't have anything. He doesn't have any intention, bad intention to, to create it. He put it there, he doesn't know that. If, he, if she or he know that this thing can create problems, I think, he will not do it. But the issues here, we, we, we normally tell them that to avoid this thing so that we cannot repeat ourselves every time, every day. But our, our role at Chamber of Commerce, we also want to... To, to talk to the authority, such kind of people need support in terms of loan, in terms of, of exam, exam, ex, tax exemption. Because, you know, you have struggled to, to, to be at that level and again, something happened. Mm. And it, it, it is beyond his, 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 his or her control. We also calling to that, to calling our authority to look into to some kind of issues. And really, some of the authority, really, they, some of them are are doing that because it happened last time in Jebel, and the, 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 the director of, of, of Qatar Block gave, gave directive that these people should be exempted from paying uh, some, of the, some, some of the taxes. And this, is, and this is the role of the government, to look into the issues of, of the people. So what do you mean by tax exemptions? Does it mean that if this business person has been paying tax, once the incident happened, the government or the authorities will stand with him or her? Yeah, but now the authority can, cannot give him money or her money. But the authority can exempt him from paying some of the taxes so that he comes up, use this some, some of that to, to help him be in the business. Mm. This is what we are, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are raising. Because at the end of the day, uh, it, is, it, is his not, it is not his fault, it's somebody's fault. And that person also doesn't know that uh, this, uh, this thing can create, no? can, can create pro problems to, 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 to other people. And, and if this person take legal case, if the, even if, even the person even taken to the pre, to, 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 to prison, he, he, he cannot he cannot pay everyone. But what we are saying that this person is a business person. Let us help ourselves. You know, uh, let us see that is this person that how 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 we cooperate with the government to, to make sure uh, some of these issues we, we solve it like 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 comes to in terms of 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 looking to. Uh, low interest rate loan to, to help these people to go and loan their money so that they come back to, 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 to do their business and should be give, given a, a, a tax exemption because of the cost that they, uh, they, they have lost a lot of money. The, these are the issues that we, 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 we try and the government, the local government also some, some of the issues that we raise I think uh, example uh, as I told you in what happened in Jebel they really take consideration and exempted some, some of these people who are, who are... Now, you stated earlier that most of uh, 
and some of the business people, they don't listen to your advice at some point. What do you think makes them not to listen to the authorities' advices? Is it because maybe you tax them a lot of money or highly on... Um, I came to realize that the Chamber of Commerce is a bit not doing like how it used to be working before. When we stuck with uh, one of the chairperson at the market in custom, I was telling us that uh, you as Chamber of Commerce, by then you used to involve in garbage collection, and now it is being taken out of your, your role as Chamber of Commerce given to the city council. So we're seeing it like there is conflicts of interest between Chamber of Commerce and the city council. Actually, let me clarify this thing. You know, there's a department in, in the city council. Their, their, their role is to make sure they clean the market and, and the environment. It's called envi environment de department. Mm. And uh, these are the concerned authority that are dealing in garbage management. So comes to the issue of Chamber of Commerce. Chamber of Commerce is providing security in the market, uh, providing food for, for the soldiers who are there, and providing the medications, who, people who are taking care of the, 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 or protecting the, the market. So, and there's another issue that, that raised some years back. Uh, the, the, the Chamber of Commerce has a memorandum of understanding with the, with, with the authority that, okay, if you cannot manage, let us just manage the, 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 uh, the garbage. So they are being given the role of cleaning the, 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 the market. And they clean the market every, every, every evening. Like evening to, today, they clean the market. In the morning also they clean. And then they take the garbage daily from the market. And this is what, this is what I know. But now, you, because there's, a, there's authority which are there, if, if they have given to Chamber of Commerce the role of, of cleaning the market, the Chamber of Commerce is capable to clean all this market. But now it comes to, to the authority to delegate the powers to, to the chamber that you give, you, you I give this you market, you, I need this market to, to be clean. Then the, the chamber of commerce will take over and clean this market. But the issue here is there is a department which are concerned in the city council, which are cleaning the, the concern of the environment, concerning about the environment mm. of, of the city, including the market. So... If they have their, if they say that they can give to the Chamber of Commerce, we, 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 we don't have any problem with that. But uh, what you're saying, it happened some years back. And this, this is through understanding between the authority of Juba City Council and the Chamber of Commerce that they should take care of the garbage collection within the market. But by now, there's a, there's a department which are concerned, they are concerned or they are delegated to do these jobs. But if they say they want to come to Chamber of Commerce and work together or delegate this, this work to Chamber of Commerce, I think the Chamber of Commerce will, 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 will do the work. But uh, now... city council is taking the, the fees, the, some money for garbage collections in the market. What do you take? Uh, we, 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 the Chamber of Commerce, mm. uh, the services at the market, we're taking service fee. This is a service of the Chamber of Commerce. This is including the feeding of... of of the security organs in the market and, uh, and, and giving them allowances every month. And, and if there's anything happen, then the Chamber of Commerce will come in, like, you know, a situation like which, which happened uh, is, is few, few, few days ago. Mm -hmm. These are the general uh, issues the Chamber of Commerce play. But the issues of garbage, as I've been telling you here, is mm -hmm. these, uh, these are the, 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 the responsibility of the department that are concerned in Juba City Council. They are the one to, to, to delegate. If they, 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 they see they want the Chamber of Commerce to come in and support them, they are the one to delegate. Because before, these are the these are understanding between the two oh, oh, institutions, private sector and the public sector, that's the local government, to make sure they come in and clean the market. But if, if there's understanding like that, I think there's no problem. Chamber of Commerce is ready to, to, work, to, to work with the with, with Juba City Council. And, and they are doing that before. I think you, you are the authority, and, and City Council is part of the authority. And you people have your avenue or a, a forum or meeting and discuss issues related to 
your role as authorities and the business people. Now business, are raise, business people are raising this concern that the high taxes is always affecting them. And once they are taxed, they don't see where the money goes to. For example, maybe city council taking that uh, piece for garbage collection, and they say they don't see the garbage being collected on time, on even daily or weekly, maybe sometimes once in a while. This is what they said yesterday when they faced to, to the camera. And now you're saying here, once you are collecting some money just to motivate the security apparatus deploy within the market. So do you think what you collect and what city council collect and other authorities, is it contributing to good relationship between you and the business people? Actually, what, what we are doing is like to protect the interests of the traders. Because be, be, before there is breaking, breaking up of shops in the markets, and then a chamber of commerce came in through them understanding with the, with the traders, that the chamber of commerce will take the role of making sure uh, the, show, the, the shops which are there are protected. And even the, 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 the traders who are there, because there's some people who sometimes come in the daytime, you know, creating problems in the market. And we're coordinating these things through the institutions that we apply and then we request for, 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 for the soldiers to come and protect the markets. All these markets have been protected. And this is a chamber of commerce hall to protect the interests of, of, of properties of, of, the, of, of the traders. And this fee, this I've explained to you, these are going, this is a chamber of commerce subscription fee. And it is goes to, 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 to paying this uh, so food for, this, for, 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 for these soldiers. Mm. Uh, they're having two meals, breakfast and then dinner. And they're having the, the also, they're also having the, 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 the the, the, the allowances every month they are being given, and there is some situation which which, which can arise like a, like when 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 we see like bringing people and come and work and help in, in the chamber of commerce and paying the rent of, of the offices in the chamber of commerce. These are the general things that we we, we, we normally do, but it comes to the issues of of coordination co coordinating with the, the activity coordinating our activities with with Juba City Council or the authority. We, we, we normally come in a chamber of commerce, a representative of traders in the various uh, levels to raise the concern of the traders in terms of taxes, in terms of, 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 of other issues that they have raised. And some of the issues that we have raised, really, we, we, we really get a response from the government. Uh, some of them been, uh, and we get response that uh, they, they normally solve our problems and traders problem but some but some of the problems will take longer than 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 than, than, uh, than what we, we we expected and that's why sometimes you know traders get frustrated frustrated and then and, 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 and some of them will also complaining and and, and that's what we, we 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 are saying that we also the issues of taxation because there's level of taxation mm. we have the, the local government at the, at, at the lower level we have the state we have the national gov government. All these institutions are collecting money on behalf, on, on behalf of the government. But what we are saying here is we need harmonizations to make sure uh, uh, we, we, we don't realize duplications of, of the taxes. You know, for example, we have some, something called uh, rental value and business profit tax. And uh, if this business profit tax, these, these are there in, at the local level, level of, of, of of, of the government, I think the, at the state level should should not be taken and let them agree which one should take what, what. and and from there it these things will be harmonized. Harmonized, you know. We know at this level, uh, uh, city council taking this, uh, Juba city, uh, I mean Juba county are taking this, and then and and and, and, and the state uh, government authorities taking this, and the national government uh, is taking this. So these are the issues that we are working on it. And I'm happy that there's a committee being formed uh, through the, 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 gov the, the, the governor to make sure uh, that this, uh, these taxes will be, should be harmonized. Because at the end of the day, uh, we are trying to create, as business people, we, we are appealing to the government to create conducive environment for our people to do business, to encourage local and foreign investment. Okay, yeah. Robert, before we go for a break, let's find out from you. Uh, looking at the relationship between you as the authority and the business people, 
I believe if you have good relationship with business people, then the common men, common people of the Republic of South Sudan will enjoy. That means the economy will improve and all this. If you have maybe some difficulties in your relations as authority with the business people, then the common people will suffer. Now, do you think the sufferings of South Sudanese when they go to the market, they want to buy things and then they found that uh, sugar, beans, rice, mess flour is rising up every day. Whose contribution is that? Is it maybe because the authorities don't have good relationship between the, with the p business people or is maybe business people who don't want even to cooperate with the authority? Whose problem is that? Okay, thank you. You had say you're talking about the issues of price in the market. Mm. You know, a price in the market has factors. We have external factors and we have internal factors. So that we know exactly where is the problem come from. The external factors is, you know, the price of goods from, from the sources there have, has already increased. Let people know that. Okay? Come to the issues of the, the petrol. The transportation costs also increase. Leave about other taxes that have been, been, been created or been le levied on the same uh, goods which are coming also into South Sudan. Uh, these, these are the two major things, transportation costs and the, and, the, and the price of food from the sources has increased and taxes, or some of the taxes which have been, 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 been implemented at the, uh, at, at the sources there. So, come to the internal factor, factors. Internal factors, you know. We have the dollar. We don't produce anything. We normally bring our, our goods from outside. Then we have ta mm, uh, taxation, I mean duplication of taxes. Multiple taxes, tax, taxes. From Numule up to here, you know, you will spend a lot of money, trader will spend a lot of money here, paying, paying. And some, and, and some of this man, ma, ma, money, he's going to put what? He's going to put on, 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 the, on the goods. What we are saying here is, we need the government to stabilize this, first of all, the, the, because the, the, the government, we cannot work on something we, we, which are beyond our control. But our government can work, uh, can work internal factors that are affecting us. Number one, should stabilize the, the dollar. If the dollar is 90, because to, today, yesterday, it's now 90, 91, 92. If the dollar is 90 or 80, let it be, let it be, let it be like that. The price by itself, it will stabilize. This is one. Two, let us come to the issues of multiple taxations. You know, we have various institutions we, 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 which, which are there in the market, you know. Let me say, there is nation, uh, the National Revenue Authority, and there is the State Revenue Authority, and then there is uh, uh, local government. At the level of local government, we have the county, Juba County, and then we have city council. And we have other institutions like a uh, Bureau of Standard. They also f take, like, but the Bureau of Standard, they, they go there for check of the goods. Now, when they go there, they, what they take, uh, take uh, the, the, the amount that they take, this is a call, call inspection fee. Come to the issues of also the, 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 the uh, fire brigade. You know, we have a national and a state fire brigade. And all these institutions, they also take money from the market. So we, we, what, what we say about the harmonization, we need to know who should take what. If the, if, if the fire brigade of the state should be the one to take, let, let it be the, 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 the fire brigade of the state. If for the national, let it be for the national. Then they, then they will go and divide there. But if the state come and then and, the, and also the 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 the, the, the national the national come, yeah. it also it also also creating you know disturbance to, to also to, to 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 our traders because the trader wants to know exactly what services are, are they doing. Okay, if the if they are fire brigade, their certificate and their other thing, this certificate will ask. What can I benefit from this certificate? Ask, this is one. Mm. Two, he will say, okay, 
what you can bring for me, they can bring for me fire extinguisher that I can see they can help me and if there's fire like what happened, I can use it to, 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 to help. But these are the issues that we, we are calling, uh, we're calling for harmonization so, of, of the taxes. So Robert, yeah. with all this explanation, yeah. who is making the common man to suffer? Actually, I will not say who is making the, 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 the question here is how are we going to, to work on the issues to, to, to resolve the problems? Because one here is the responsibility of the government in to look into it that some of these problems will be resolved. Like, for example, it is not hard the state and the national and the local government to see to harmonizing their, 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 their taxes. Okay? And also come to the issues of, of, of the pricing because the pricing has a lot of factors. Because before, there is a department in, in the Ministry of, of Trade they're the one controlling the what? They're the one controlling the prices. But now, if you if you can realize now, if you can know that there's many taxes coming, even from when when the goods even have not reached South Sudan, there's many things that are, that, that happen outside until the, the goods reach here. So you need to know specifically how much the cost of the f of 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 the maize flow from the source until it reach here, because down then you will set the, the, the prices. But also. We, we, we will not rely on, so our government should not rely on, 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 the, on the issues of, of exporting. So in other way around, you're saying the traders have right, because they pass through a lot of hardship because of taxation and all this. So whatever thing they charge, it's also, you have to understand that situation, right? Yeah, you know, uh, what I'm trying to say here is, what I'm trying to say here is, uh, the, the, some of the traders are taking advantage of the situation. The government has a role to play, to come in and to, 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 to realize to it some of these problems are, are being solved. This is one. Two, there's an issue, there's an issue of, of, of relying. Hmm? Of, of relying. We, we, we normally rely too much on bringing goods from outside. Our government is capable of, of, of creating conducive environment. Once you create conducive environment and make sure peace is there in every corner of South Sudan. Okay? And now creating in investors will come, local investors will come and, and, and invest in agriculture. You know? and, and the government also will, 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 will come in with a policy through the local initiative eh? to come and, 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 and providing them tools you know, to, create, to, 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 to let them produce food for, for themselves and for the market. Because at the end of the day, yeah. we, 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 we will not rely forever bringing food from outside. We need to produce our own food. Because this food, some of these foods are coming from outside, even with some of them with, without a standard. So, so, sorry for the saying that, but I'm telling you, many things are happening outside there. But what we need, we, we, we need our government also to come in to, to, to make sure that they have a great conducive environment for, for our local investor and foreign investment so that we produce our own. Because at the end of the day, we cannot rely on bringing food from outside every time. This is the role of our government. And thank you so much, Robert Fitier, and dear viewer, thank you so much for following this edition of African Morning Breakfast Show, where we are talking about the relations between business people and the authority. And one of the authority right here in this edition is Robert Fitier, the chairperson of Chamber of Commerce, Industry, and Agriculture, Central Equatoria State, is helping us to understand more on the relations between the authority and the business people. That is east side of the story. Let's have a break right now and find out from some uh, business people who spoke to us in um, custom market right here in Juba, what they also think about their relationship with the authorities. Let's have a break. We'll be right back shortly. You know, as a human being, there are some problems. There is uh, no uh, mutual understanding between, as far as the situation of the economy in the country now, for now, uh, the government agencies or the city council should understand what is going on and uh, should have a closer relation with the business community so that work can be done very smoothly. But what we are experiencing sometimes, uh, in the market there is no market, people are not getting money. Some of the times, even though some of the time is a picking time, 
Sometimes business are low in the market, very low in the market. So when they come and uh, collect the revenue or uh, what they are supposed to collect, and then the businessman doesn't have something to offer for that time, and then he asks for uh, maybe for them to come tomorrow, then uh, they collect uh, items. Lakin binizba le waka bitana ma idara bitatakuma al fisuk fina ajal bi wajana fisukina fita diat ketir jidden. Awalan gurush bigi mafi fi yedden bita shab. A shogol bigi taban. It nin bitao. A dola mashafog besura sari jidden wasura dahma bintay min tijara bitana. La derja mafi nas bi eji suk bebiu. Ita bintay min buda haggag. Lano bishilo wahid wahid wita bakul buda bitak. Mafi ayizu aja ita bagdar bajib tani. Uma fi jahad al bi damna bi dayin la tijar bitana fi suk asha nzul yegdar yerfa nafsu. Asha nina biraba. Wada de saab jidden. Lakin alana gultu fi finaya bitana si saha. Saha bita suk taban. Wa nina bi natfa. Shariyan. Lakin ana bi kallam bi waqa la nas bita maya. Ma nas bita u. Yizidu adad bita umal la shakalin fi suk. Lan wa umal al fi aliyan basit jidden. Ma bagdar bi khati suk. Ashan yagdar ya yahya saha bita suk. Lanu da shogol bita maya. Ini ya amal shunu shogol bita tajmil bita medina. Suk bita na waskhan jidden. Even wasakha ma bishilu kulu wakit. Atan kida ana guta. Lo um amkanu yazidu kimi al umal al shakalin. Tahaddi ni miritnen da waga bita taksis salinda na fi suk. Dariba bigi dhakma jidden u bigi fok ala taga bitana kuwa bitana kala so minu. Lanu asa fi jardukan ana bajir dukan maraten. Bajir dukan al zinki u bajir wata barao. De min dimne tahadiyad. Ruksa ana bitali ruksa maraten. Fi rukta al tajua dukan ana bitalaw sanawiyan. Kanana talata jatu kulu. Baranda ana lazima tali fogu ruksa kulu badshar. O kulu badsharen. Ana bitfa gurush dubul baranda. O galu ini demel ashanana no god piu. Bimna uma narot fogu buda bitai. O ila ana bitali fogu ruksa kulu badshar. De bigi fuktaga bitana de min tahdiyad al saab alena. Kaman ruksa fi sanada ashan gaad ya talaw mufarrag mufarrag kaman bitimu guwa bitanas. Min mufrud lanu mel bitana da suk gataye ma suk jumla ashan yagdar yakun fi ajad da kulu yeji munfasil zay rivin yu bizad. Baji dubul fuktaga bitana. O fi ruksa tijariya fi shugul bita tijara fi mawaridin, fi saadirin, fi jumla, fi ikmali. De, melad alkan yaw revenue authority bishtakal fi meladak. Bitana hina, da suk gataye, suk eyasha, akshash. Gataye, de kande banu bish wayotub, u baranda bitaw. Akshak, de zinki, zayal nina shakalin fogo de, yaw bagolu kushuk. Kushuk de bikun awrag bita wa awrag mahliya. De fi waka bita roksa alamiyan. Ayyasha de nasal bifari shutihit fi wata. O de falan de le shugul ta nas ta balat. La anu ajata munda ajat basit basit umun bifarish. Wa ayizul al jay maari yashil u yamshi. De ba gulu amal ayyasha. O mufarishin al wata. Kaman awrag bita mun bukun awrag bita mahliya. الغايد في ميلاد بتام فده تهديات البوهجانة شديد جدا وسيا بتاي بنسبة لحكومة بتانا أصلا لأنه جنوب السودان أنا سميت من زمن داك إني اتسجل في قمة بتاع شرق الإفريقيا وفي شرق الإفريقيا في حاجة اسمه والبنك والبنك قاعد يشتغل مع نسوان عالميا وده بيكون توصية من حكومة إني يعمل سفوتين لنسوان يدن لمن قروش 
عشانهم يقدر يجيبوا بضاعة زي اللي بيحصل في كينيا في يوغندا في دول تا إيس أفريكا وفي أفريكا كله وفي ميدل إيس حتى في عالم كله بيعمل سبورتنج للنسوان عشانهم يشتغلوا ويقدر يربح بصورة كويس ده في مجال بتاعت حكومة يساعدنا في حتة ده لأنه أم يو بدينا توسيع للناس ديل بالنسبة للنسوان بتاعنا في السوق أنا بشجاهم بإني ما في مفر وما في حل لابد ده بيت بتاعنا هنا يو بيشتغل فوقه ولازم هنا بأصبر أتن ربنا كلي سعيدنا وهنا نقدر نمني بيت ونمني يال بتاعنا أي مرة عنده فكرة فعلا أنا بشجعك تشوف ده شغل ياتو اللي تبقى أقدر بيشتغله وتبدأ بيزنس بتاعك وما تبتكر في حاجة الكبير لكن تبدأ شوية زي أنا إني أنا كان أجرت دوكان فادي وبدأت بريسم لا دي أنا بيجي في عجات جوا تمام أبو الحاجة عليه اسم أحمد محمد أحمد الحسين وحني شعب جنوب السودان بهلول إيد الأحلى المبارك وإيد الفطر المبارك وأقول كل سنة وأنت طيبين وأتمنى أن السودان كمان يكون فيها سلام وفيها أمان والناس تكون كلها مرتاحة إن شاء الله الحمد لله أول حاجة أنا نوم بتاع الشغل بتاعي في جنوب السودان يا هو تاجر بتاع ملابس فإذا كان رجالي ونسائي والحمد لله ومن ناحية الحكومة الحمد لله كلها تمام كلها مية مية الأمور ميسرة يعني من تسهيلات كله الحمد لله رب العالمين من ناحية نحن ما قاعدين نعاني من حاجة بس في حاجات في بعض الحاجات بس نحن منا في السوق هنا قاعدين نعاني منها شوية مثلا إننا زي في السوق قاسم هنا المشمات الفوق المظلات يعني هسه نحن ممنوعين مننا مظلات يعني هسه قاعدين نعمل بس يا هو One concerning the garbage which is within the market. Uh, before 2013, we are the one in our office collecting rubbish in the market. And our market should be clean. And there was no any rub rubbish which can, can be seen in the market. But by the police of the city council, they came and told us that we should hand that work to their responsibility. So they took, since that time up to now, as you have seen, the whole of the market is dirty. Road are closed. When you see the road coming from uh, 77 going, going to that way of Mango Star, there is no any vehicle which, which can pass because the road was being closed by the rabbits. When you look inside the market, and even uh, the pens of the SSBC is now surrounded by the rabbits, which was not been collected. It is now almost through, uh, three to four weeks. No any vehicle comes and collect our rabbits in the market. Secondly, we have also some other issue of the traders which affected them. Because our shops are three by four. And we put the veranda up so that it will cover the market to look so that when rains come, the water cannot be able to enter to any trader shop. Even when the time of the sun shining, also it cannot be entered. But our mayor last year came and told all the traders to remove that veranda out. This is now the problem which the traders always came to my office to speak to me about it so that they will be able to return that veranda back. Welcome back, dear viewer. Thank you so much for continuing following African Morning Breakfast Show right here on SABC. Those were the uh, the voices and the images of the business person 
at custom right here in South Sudan capital Juba. They were also talking about the part of uh, relationship between them and the authorities concerned. And right here, Robert, welcome back. And tell us what you can respond to what is being said by these business people. Uh, actually, I'm not hearing it well. Yeah, uh, but yeah. But uh, I can uh, relate to what they have been saying. You know, general thing issues of garbage in the market comes to issues of, of, of the taxes that I've been talking about. This thing needs uh, need coordinations so that we resolve most of these issues. And then basically comes to the issues of 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 of, of custom. Custom, we know this custom belongs to Juba to Juba University. Yeah, he's just renting to to the business people to do their things temporary there. And 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 those side of of Gudele one, it's also for someone. He's put some people there temporary. That's why we we're saying that uh, how are we going to solve these problems? You know, giving people a place that they can be permanent to avoid uh, uh, fire breaks, and then also looking to the issues of, of of the garbage in the market to coordinate how this thing should be resolved. Because at the end of the day, uh, uh, a cleaning environment is part of our health, so that we make sure all the garbage is being collected and taken to, to where it should be taken. So these are things that need to we need to coordinate and sit and see how we can solve these problems. Because most of these pro problems, we we are part. Some of us are part of the problems, whether the government, whether the institution of the institution. Because at the end of the day. We need to, to see into it that some of these problems will be resolved. And we need hard work. We, we don't we need to talk, but we need to take actions. What are the actions that we have to take? We don't want things to, we talk about it, and every day we come and talk about it. We need action. That's what we, 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 we from the government and to our other institutions. But for us, as but we are ready to cooperate. We are ready to work and to make sure everything go according to what we want to be. Thank you so much, Robert Peter, for making it to African Morning Breakfast Show. Before I let you go, finally, what could be your advice to your colleague in the authority uh, in different sector of the government and also maybe your appeals maybe to the top leadership? Because starting from the presidency, coming to the governor of Central Equatoria State, coming to other lunch institutions that deal with business and people of South Sudan, what do you want them to do? to make sure the citizen of South Sudan have the freedom to go to the market and they get everything is in the right place. No restriction on with the security, the prices of commodities are okay. You go back home, you sit, you buy, you cook, you eat, you enjoy. You say it, my country is safe and is economically stable. Yeah, first of all, thank you for, <coughs> for hosting me um, for the second time. Uh, I also appeal to our leaders, uh, let, them, uh, let them always be together and bring peace to every corner of South Sudan and creating conducive environment to encourage our local and foreign investment to come and do business. Like other countries which, 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 are, which are going ahead in terms of economic development. So it comes to, to, to our leadership at the state level, we, we, work, we want them to hurry up and harmonize all these taxes uh, because the committee has been formed and we want to thank them for their effort to, to make sure they, are, they come together and bring us together and see into it that taxes have been harmonized so that a trader will feel that he's paying something and come and he also realize now he also take his part, like also not increase prices anyhow. Also, we, we also need to, to, to talk to our, our central bank and the Ministry of Finance so also to, to stabilize for us the, 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 the hard currency. Because at the end of the day, uh, the excuse of our own people, the traders, they are putting the blame to the government that the, 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 the dollar is not stabilized. That's why they, they don't know tomorrow will be how much and next tomorrow will be how much. So that's why our market is not stabilized. But also we are appealing to, to the leadership to make sure the dollar is being stabilized. Even if it is 90, let it be 90, for the period of one year at least, so that we see things, things change. And come to the issues of the, let us come also to the issues of, uh, um, 
of the traders. We also want to appeal to traders, let them not take advantage of our own citizen because we know some of the traders are not honest. Because once they see things, they increase the prices anyhow in the market and trying to, 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 to impose to our citizen because the citizen doesn't have any options. And the government, uh, the, high, the hands are tied. They don't also monitor what is happening in the, in the market. But we want our government also to collaborate with us and work hard so that we achieve this. So that citizens realize now they are, they, 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 are, they are buying things with what they have because life should be affordable to everyone. And we, 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 we need peace in every corner of this country. And we, 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 need to, we, we need our people to invest in agriculture. We want to eat our own food, not bring food from outside. And this is the role of our government. And this is the role of our institutions which are there, who are setting policies in terms of the land. Because most investors, which are, they come there, they will say they, they want to invest, but they, they find yeah, there's no right policy in terms of the agricultural land, where is it, and how they can they can go into it. These are, the, these are the requests that we need, and we, we need to, our government to work very hard, hard so that uh, they, they leave a legacy, uh, so that our happy people will be happy. Thank you so much, thank Robert. You much. And thank you so much, dear viewers, for having your time to follow this conversation right here on SAVC in our African Morning Breakfast Show. I've been your host, Majur Cholkur, and we have been looking into the relation between business people and the authorities. And one of the authorities who has been my guest right here is Robert Pitea Francis, the chairperson of Chamber of Commerce, Industry and Agriculture, Central Equatoria State. Thank you so much, me and my colleague in the technical team. We do say it, do have a lovely time as you enjoy the upcoming program right here on SABC. And remember, don't miss to like, comment, and follow SSBC TV on our social media handles, Facebook and SSBC Official on YouTube. Bye for now and take care. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.